Yo, what's good, fam? Hope you're doing well. Playing as the dredge today. And I got a build that, uh, not really a uh, intended purpose, but you know, I got corrupt intervention just to make sure the gens slow down a bit in the beginning of the match, right? It makes it easier to find survivors. I also have score. Get off my gen, Fang. I also have um, Scorch Hook. Oh, nice one. Floods. Get off my gen, these people. Why are they so close? I don't understand that. At least run away. Sheesh. Um, Scorch Hook floods of rage, so when they get unhooked from a Scorch Hook, I can then see everyone, no matter how far they are or whatever, I can see everyone. Um, with their, I can see their auras. I monitor and abuse, so my terror radius is a little smaller when I'm not in a chase. And... But when I'm in a chase, it gets bigger. Freaking boom. And then I also have no way out. So if we get to the end game, all the gens are done, the exit gates are powered. Um, I, I, uh, I forgot exactly how you get tokens, but I think it's like every time you hook up a survivor, like a, a different person, you get a token. Nice one. And that's now you do a FOV tech. You gotta do it like if you're turning into a wall and then you come back and do the spin. I hear another Fang Min though. Because I know they have two flashlights here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I figured. Guess we'll never know if you actually can use a flashlight fang. Why am I facing so many fang here? Oh, okay, hold on. Dang it, I had the prompt too. Damn, that was a good move by Nia. Why am I facing three fang mins? It's so weird. I hope they're not toxic. Fang mins are always toxic, but I don't see a bunny fang, so I think you're chilling. Uh, I should have known. Of course you wanted to take that because you have off the record. Oh well. I right, see we got two hooks, so we have two tokens now, no way out, because we're hooking different survivors. So yeah, that's the build, guys. Nothing too crazy. We have three tokens now, since we hooked three different survivors, so that's good. I haven't hooked her yet, I think. I can't tell anymore. All these fangs look similar, even though they don't look similar. I don't know. I just see a survivor, and if they happen to be the same... Why are you guys healing under the... The hook. If only they knew that I can see them all the time. And with this nightfall, I can see them like a sore thumb. Like they're just white outlined. I know you're behind there. I saw you. I don't know. They made it kind of obvious. They must be a swift or something because they're too altruistic. I know the other thing, uh, Nia or Fangman, whoever it is, besides this person, they're the one that's up. She's not too far away, but I'm gonna just hook to cause some pressure. All right, now we got all tokens. Nice. So now, since you have all the tokens. It increases, I think, by six seconds. So twenty-four seconds. The 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 gate, the gates are locked. So if they try to open it, like they try to change the switch, I'll know where they're at. But we're not getting there. They blocks off the exit gates. Right, let's do this Mori for twenty-four seconds. Let's do this Mori. Wait, what the fuck? Yo, the nightfall ability happened during my Mori. Now I can't barely see it. Oh my goodness! You saw that? My nightfall ability kicked in at the same time as the Mori. Now it's so dark. I can't even see Dredge. This is brutal. Though. Crazy. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, please like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you watch regularly. I'd love to see you again. I upload daily. Take care, guys. Always a pleasure doing this with y'all.